by lawmakers on the origins of the coronavirus and the administration's response. Have you seen any intelligence the coronavirus originated in a lab in Wuhan? I have not. Have you seen any intelligence that supports the Chinese Communist Party's claim that it originated in a seafood market? No. As he accurately conveyed the I, severity of COVID-19 to the American people. Um, I believe so. Ratcliffe vowed to investigate the origin of the virus and to be apolitical if confirmed. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. It's been a rather chilly evening. It was pretty gusty at times, too. Still some wind gusts out there and just wet now just for a lot of folks. Earlier today, the showers really were confined to the northern portions of the Miami Valley. Just about everybody said, look at that blue that's on the map. Yeah, wintry mix is in there. That's ugly, is it not? We've got around Bell Fountain, probably a few wet snowflakes mixed in. North Lewisburg, West Liberty, here we are, early May, and we're talking about snowflakes. James wanted to shish me when I started talking about that. That. Then we got some heavier rain showers, probably moderate at this time, around the Tip City area, New Carlisle, Enid, all seeing some moderate pockets of shower activity. So traveling on 70, you're certainly going to run into that. Here's Springfield. We can see the camera lens all wet. Uh, temperatures in the 40s, a little breezy, so it's going to feel a little colder than that. 40 in Troy, 41 in Dayton, 39, though, in Springfield. So certainly feeling chilly there. 37 up in the Bell Fountain, 40 in Winchester, 36 in Richmond. Oh, this is not pretty at all. The wind's coming in out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And every now and again, we'll get a little gust there, about 15, 16 miles an hour, just to make it feel on the chilly side. So overnight tonight, the scattered showers continue, but they'll wane eventually somewhere around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. But then afterwards, we dip down to the upper 30s for overnight lows. So we got cool temperatures for this week to really deal with. It's going to be a pleasant respite on Thursday. Then we got some some frost to deal with Friday night and one model, the North American model, giving us some snowflakes that's going to mix in by the time it's all said and done. That's just one model, though. Not every model is agreeing with that solution, but just don't want you to be caught off guard come Friday night if you see some snow flurries as well as the frost first thing Saturday morning. So here we are at midnight. I think this model is underdoing it a little bit. I see a lot more out there than what that model is projecting, but the general gist is overnight tonight, the showers are going to depart. We'll wake up to mostly cloudy skies tomorrow. Then we'll start to break the clouds apart by noontime. We've got a partly cloudy sky for the afternoon. Probably should be a pretty uh, sunset tomorrow as well. And then we've got clear skies as we head into the day on Thursday. So 38 degrees overnight tonight. Showers are going to come to an end. The winds are lighter than they were earlier today but still a little breezy. Tomorrow, 57, we get rid of the morning clouds. We got some sunshine for the afternoon, breezy. At least it's a little bit warmer. Here's the five-day forecast. Thursday is looking pretty good, 64. Showers coming in on Friday. We're a little cooler in the lower 50s. Then a frosty one for us as we get into Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, we got some sunshine, but it's still cool. Then Mother's Day, looking Eh, that's the official forecast there. Partly cloudy, upper 50s with a few showers coming in by the evening time. Then 56 for us on Monday with mostly cloudy skies. A phenomenal shot by Carl Merritt here in Eastwood Park. Beautiful picture. I may have to post that on my Instagram tomorrow. If you're on Instagram, give me a follow. Robin Chrome's Me sending us this one from Huber Heights. Beautiful sunrise right there. Thank you, Robin, for sending us that. Again, send us your pictures over on our social media pages. Jesse and Kirsty will pick it up first thing tomorrow morning at 425 on Daybreak. Jay. Did you say shish? No, it's shush. One wrong vowel or consonant, you can wind yourself up in some trouble. <laughs> want you to take you out west where a Utah trooper pulled over an SUV that was weaving on the highway. When the trooper walked up to the driver, it was a kid, only five years old. It was pretty clear when the window came down. I was not expecting to find what I found. Trooper Morgan helped the boy put the car in park. He told the trooper he took the keys, listen to this one, of the family's SUV so he could drive to California and buy a Lamborghini. <laughs> well, that's just pocket change for that little man. His family said he loves cars, but they had no idea how he figured out how to drive one.